Hi everyone! So in this video, I'm going to show you how to crochet this very easy glasses case. So for my case, I used a 4mm crochet hook and worsted weight yarn. So thank you very much for watching and please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet videos. So to begin your case, you want to start off by making a slip knot. So to do a slip knot, take your yarn and take your finger and wrap the yarn around your finger once and then twice. Then take the first loop and pull it over the second loop and then take the second loop and pull it all the way over your finger. You then want to take your crochet hook, go in through this space and pull tight. And there you have a slip knot. So now once you have your slip knot, we are now going to make our foundation chain. And now you can make your foundation chain as long or as short as you like, but the length of your foundation chain will depend on how big you want your case to be. So you want to take your glasses and make a chain that is long enough to go around your glasses like this. So to go around the bottom of the glasses and the longer you make your foundation chain, the bigger your glasses case will be. So make your foundation chain. So I have just finished making my foundation chain and I ended up chaining 24 with a 4mm hook and as you can see that fits really nicely around the widest or the biggest part of my glasses and you want to make sure that you don't make your foundation chain too long as our case will have a little bit of stretch to it and you don't want it to end up being too big. So then once you have your foundation chain, we are now going to turn our chain into a ring, so into a foundation ring. So what you want to do is you want to take your chain where you finished off here and you want to go down to the very first chain that you worked and into this chain we're going to do a slip stick. So slowly go along down to the very first chain and make sure you are not twisting your chain when you do this. So make sure there are absolutely no twists in your chain. And then go to the very first chain, insert your hook into this first chain and then we're going to work a slip stitch. So yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook, like that. And then I would recommend just going back and double checking that you have no twists. And if you don't, we are ready to move on with round one. So we are one. now on to round one of our glasses case. And to begin this round, you want to chain one. And this chain one does not count as a stitch. So now round one is a simple round of half double crochet. So we're just going to do one half double crochet into every single chain. So start off by yarning over and going down into this very first chain here that your chain one comes out of and yarn over and pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. So there we have our first half double crochet. Then yarn over, go down into the next chain and do one half double crochet into this chain as well. Then do one half double crochet into the next chain. And one into the next. And just continue this all the way along for round one. One half double crochet into each and every chain. So I have just finished working that all the way around for round one. 
And at the end of this round, you should find that you have the same number of half double crochets around as you originally chained for your foundation chain. So I chained 24 for my foundation chain. So I should have 24 half double crochets in round one. And I do. So now to finish off this round, we're going to do a slip stitch into the first half double crochet that we worked. So here is the first half double crochet. Make sure that you're not going down into this little chain one. The chain one that we did at the beginning of the round did not count as a stitch. So don't go down into this one. Go into the first half double crochet insert your hook into this stitch and yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. So work a slip stitch. So there we have finished round one and we are ready to move on to round so two. So we are now on to round two of our case and to begin this round you want to chain one and this chain one does not count as a stitch. So round two is just another round of half double crochet. So we're just going to do one half double crochet into each stitch around for round two. So yarn over and go down into this very first stitch here. So into the stitch that our chain one comes out of and do one half double crochet. Then do one half double crochet into the next stitch and one into the next and just continue this all the way around for round two So I have finished working that all the way around for round two and you need to make sure that you have the same number of half double crochets in this round as you had last round. So I had 24 half double crochets in round one so I should still have 24 half double crochets in round two and I do. So now to finish off this round, we're going to do a slip stitch into the first half double crochet that we worked. So here is the first half double crochet. Insert your hook into this stitch and yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. So there we have finished round two and we're ready to move on to round so three. So we're now on to round three and the rest of our glasses case is very simple. We are just going to repeat round two, so the round that we just did, again and again and again until you feel that your case is long enough or until it covers your glasses. So we're just going to keep repeating round two again and again and again. So to begin each round, you want to chain one and the chain one never counts as a stitch. And you then want to do one half double crochet into each stitch around and then finish off by doing a slip stitch into the first half double crochet that you worked. And then you want to begin that round again. Chain one, do one half double crochet into each stitch around again and finish off with a slip stitch. And you need to make sure that in every single round you always do the same number of half double crochets. So I should do 24 half double crochets in every single round but that number will depend on how many chains you did at the very beginning. So if you chained 30 for your foundation chain you will need to do 30 half double crochets in each round. If you chained 32 you will need to do 32 half double crochets and so on. But make sure that you have the same number in each round and that will give you a nice straight case. So just keep repeating round two again and again and so again. So I'm moving on to my very first repeat. So I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to go down into this first stitch here and do one half double crochet. Then do one into the next and do this all the way around. 
So I have finished working that all the way around for that repeat. So I have come to the end of the round and the last thing that I need to do is I need to work my slip stitch to finish off this repeat. But whilst you are doing your glasses case, you may want to change colours. So instead of just having a solid colour, you may want to have some different coloured stripes. So now you can change colours whenever you like. So you could have a different colour for every single round. You could just have a few rounds in a different colour. Or you could do what I am doing and alternate between different colours every few rounds. It's completely up to you. But when you change colours, the best way to do it is to change at the end of a round whilst working the slip stitch. So I have done half double crochets all the way around and the last step of this round is to do the slip stitch. So as usual, I'm just going to insert my hook into this first half double crochet. But usually to complete the slip stitch, you would yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. But I'm going to drop my yarn and take my new colour, so I'm going with a cream and place this over the end of your crochet hook and pull it through. So there we have finished the round and the slip stitch and changed colours at the same time. And now we can move on to our next round, which is just another repeat of round two, but use our new colour. So you can fasten off the colour that you were using after you change colours. So I'm going to cut this pink yarn, leaving a tail to weave in or work over later. And then move on to my next round using my new colour. So that is how you can change colours whilst doing your glasses case if you want to. But you don't have to change colours at all, you can just do it in one solid colour. But if you do want to change colours, you can do that whenever you like at the end of the rounds using that method. So I'm just going to move on to my next round. So I will chain one and then do one half double crochet down into the first stitch, one into the next, and just repeat this all the way around, but I'm using a new colour. So I have just finished working all of those repeats and this is what I have. So this now fits perfectly over my glasses. And when I got to the very end, I worked my last slip stitch and then I fastened off. So pulled my yarn out and my hook and cut my yarn and left a tail to weave in later. So I weave that in nice and securely and I am just going to leave mine like this, so just like a sleeve. But if you wanted, before you fasten off, you could make a chain loop. So you could say chain 8 or 9 or 10 before you fasten off and then work a slip stitch down into the same stitch and then fasten off and weave that end into the inside and then attach a button on the front and use that chain as the button loop to keep the top together. But I'm just going to leave mine like this. And then once you have done that, so you have finished doing your repeats, you want to join the very bottom of your glasses case. So to join the bottom, you want to take a yarn needle like this and then you either want to use the end from where you've started, so where we did our slip knot, or if you've left only a short little end, weave that one in and then take another piece of yarn in the same colour, take a long piece of yarn and you want to thread that yarn through your yarn needle. And then we are going to join all the way along the bottom using the whip stitch. So to do the whip stitch, you want to start off by lining all of your stitches up perfectly like this. And then you want to go into the very first stitch and go through both sides and pull your yarn through. 
and then with the whip stitch you always come back around to the same side so we're always going to start off by going through this side here so come through go to the next stitch and the same stitch on the opposite side and go all the way through then come back around to the same side and go through both stitches so go through the front and the back pull your yarn through come back around to this side and go through both stitches and all the way through and just continue to repeat that all the way along until you have joined up the bottom So I have gone all the way along, so right to the very edge, and now you want to go ahead and bring this end into the inside and then weave it in nice and securely. And there we have finished. So that is it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it and found it easy to follow. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet videos. And in the description box below this video, I will leave a link to my Twitter if you would like to go and follow me on there. I always like to post updates and pictures of upcoming tutorials. And I will also leave a link in the description box to where you can find some of my written patterns if you are interested. And thank you again for watching. Bye!